Hi, what's going on? My name is Anant, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your WooCommerce store with SendMaze.io using the SendMaze.io plugin. So the first thing you need to do is download the SendMaze.io WooCommerce plugin, which you can find in the description below or from the SendMaze.io website. So once you have downloaded the plugin, is a time to upload the plugin inside your WooCommerce store. So just head over to your WordPress website, go to plugin and click on add new. And this is where you will get an option to upload a new plugin. So just click on the upload plugin and choose the file which is over here. This is the zip file which I downloaded. This is the sendmaze.io plugin. Now click on install new. All right. So I have successfully installed my plugin. Uh, all you need to do is just click on activate plugin. And in my plugin section, you can see sendmaze.io for WooCommerce is successfully installed, right? So once you have successfully installed your plugin, now head over to your WooCommerce and click on settings. This is where you can find that sendmaze.io tab. So now over here, you can see there is a tab called as sendmaze.io. So just click on the sendmaze.io tab. And this is where you need to add your sendmails API key. So I need to go back to my sendmails account and head over to your campaign API tab. And this is where you can find your API token. So just copy this API token, go back to your dashboard and first is enable the sendmails plugin and paste the API key and click save changes. That's it, right? So you have successfully connected your API key with uh, WooCommerce. Now is the time to uh, connect your WooCommerce steps with sendmaze.io. So over here you can see we have options to uh, you know transfer our customers data to sendmaze.io uh, based on depending WooCommerce hooks. Number one is when there is a new order. When there is a new incoming order you can uh, you know add that customer into sendmaze.io list or when a order status failed. So if an order status gets failed, you can, you know, uh, send an automated emails telling, you know, your order, uh, your order could not get confirmed, please reorder or whatever is the problem you can, you know, send that to the person. So order status failed, order status refunded, completed, and a new customer is created. So there are five different hooks for which you can transfer the customer's data to the sendmails.io account. Let's take the new order for now. So if there is a new order, we want to transfer the customer data to sendmails.io, right? So over here, you can choose whichever list to which you want to transfer your data. So as you can see, this has automatically fetched all the list that we have inside sendmails.io. Let me just confirm that. So if I go to my list, right? So all the lists that I've created over here, has been you know displayed over here test list new uh, you know generic list feedback form contact us right so all these lists are already created and now if i go back here you can see all these you know lists are created over here so let's say i want to transfer uh, all my data to i'm going to take um, something okay this one test list uh, sending server let's take this list I'm going to choose this list over here, right? Now here it's saying map the first name of WooCommerce customer to send mails, right? So how are we going to do it is head over to this and open test list. Now I'm going to go to my uh, manage list fields and from here you can see all these values can be easily copied and pasted inside WooCommerce. So my first name is going to be this. My last name is going to be this, right? Let's say I also want to pass the email. So this is my email, phone number. I don't have a field for phone number, but I can, you know, obviously create a new field as phone number over here, right? Phone. And I'm going to name it as four, right? So I can always, always create a new custom field inside sendmaze.io. 
so i can copy this and put it over here right and then there are more fields for um, woocommerce which you can create inside send mails and pass it to the send mails list right so now over here you can see i've added all the values now what i'm going to do is let's uh, go down and let's click on save changes and that's it right so we have successfully created uh, automation where as soon as a new order is created it's going to send this data directly to sendmails.io this specific list right let's just test it now all right so over here we're going to make a checkout for this product uh, i'm going to click on add to cart right so now it's on my cart i'm going to click on view cart okay now click on proceed to checkout and put your data so i have some random data over here and click on place order that's it i have successfully placed an order and let me just refresh this so now you can see a new subscriber has been added to sendmaze.io so that's how you can connect woocommerce with sendmaze.io if you have any question drop it down in the comment below and i'll see you in the next one bye bye